Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn how to create context in Excel queue and this is going to be very easy and very interesting and I will show you step by step how to create a context. In the earlier session we have already learned what is a context. So context is a web page in your web application or it can be a web service in case of API testing. For example a login page. Let me show you an example of the context we are going to create in this session. I will go to the QBank application and this is the URL. So this is the login page of QBank application. So we can create a context for this login page. I will also mention the URL of this application and the username is john.todd. So this is the username with lowercase j and the password is pass123 with a lowercase p. So this is the application I am going to work with in this session and as we have discussed a context in case of web application will be a web page of your web application. So here this is a context the login page and we will also create another context for the um, account summary page or the home page that we get after login to QBank application. So here step number one will be login to your Excel queue account. So in my case I am already logged in and I am here on my Excel queue account and then step number two will be we have to create a new context. So if you see here we have this plus icon here you can click here on this plus and we have an option for context here. If you click on context, we get this window to create a new context. So step number two will be click on the plus button and select context. And then we have to provide context name and other details. So if I go here, we have an option for a UI context or a library context. Now library context will be for non UI based library actions that we will discuss later. For now I will go with a UI context and you can give a name. Now we have to create a context for this login page of our QBank application. So I can say this is login page. It is a good practice to suffix your context with page. Description is optional. And then here we have app entry point. Now in case the context or the web page you can directly access with a URL and you do not have to navigate or do some business logic to go to this particular web page and you can directly access it with a static URL then you can make this as a entry point. So I will say yes to this because I can directly access the login page in this application and here I can give the URL. We can also give global property and select the URL from a global property. We have not yet learned about global property so I will just go with literal and provide the URL here. So this is the URL. Tags are again optional. You can use tags that can help you to search for this context later on. I will say save and continue. And here we have got this message to capture the view. Now views are the screenshot of your web pages. For example, if I go to this login page, I can capture a view of this page so that all the elements on this web page will be present in that view and then I can store those elements in the element repository. So here I will have to get a extension for Excel queue. So in order to capture views, you can go to your Chrome browser and go to the web store and here search for Excel queue and here we have this extension a Chrome extension for Excel queue you have to get this in my case it is already added so you can just add it to your Chrome and then it will be available in your extensions here so you can see here is my Excel queue Chrome extension so this is required to capture views now I will go back to my Excel queue and I will select record new view and if you see our QBank application is already present in this list and that is because this is already open in a tab here. So this tool scans all your open 
pages or tabs and then shows it here if you want you can also give a direct URL in my case I will just select this and say analyze and it takes me back to the QBank application and if you see here now the Excel Q Chrome extension icon is blinking I will select this and here we have this window to record a new view here we have some options like start an analysis from top of the page current page scroll we have options like record with a delay and capture multiple scrolls all these options will be very useful and we will discuss all of them later for now I will just go with start analysis from top of the page and say start and you can see the record is in progress and once this is done we are getting the message this is done I will click on done and it takes me back to Excel queue and you can see the view is recorded here so now here you can either discard the view you can retake the view or you can just accept the view also if you see here it has captured 164 elements on this web page or in this view so I will say accept and you can give the name of the view and select the context of course this belongs to login page and you can give a name here and caption is optional and say ok so this will save our view in this context and you can see the view is saved here so this is the next step step number four will be record view for the context and now step number five will be store elements from the view that you require for your testing in the element repository uh, also one thing that I just forgot to mention is when you are recording a view do not move your cursor or do not uh, go to any other page or any other application on your system you have to wait while the view is getting recorded so that it records it properly and then the, rec uh, the view will be available here now in this view we can store the elements that we need for our testing we need to log in so I need a uh, element for username uh, element locator for password and then for sign in button and for that I will do a right click here and click add to repository and here we get all the options the entire hierarchy of the element and also if you see here Excel Q selects the most stable and the best locators for this element but you can always edit or change it so in case you want to make any changes you can do this you can also come back later and make any changes here for this particular element as of now I will go with all the defaults and say save and here I will give some element name so this is username input and I will say add and this will add the element in the element repository similarly I will store an element locator for password I will do a right click on password add to repository I will go with the defaults save and I will say this is password input now here you can also see we have got this option mark this as sync element I will show you uh, what this exactly means for now I will just save this and add this element and also we now need to capture the sign in locators so I will do a right click on sign in button add to repository I will go with the defaults and say this is sign in button and say add and now we have got our three elements added to the element repository so if you go to the elements tab here you can see the elements here at this point if you go to the navigator and go to the scenario or sorry go to the context here you can see the context is available here also you can see here it says it has one view and three elements so you can see this here and also if you see here we have got this information icon so what this means is if you go inside this context and go to the info section you can see here it says synchronization not defined for this context and if you scroll down you can see here we have got this synchronization section and it says click to add sync element for this context I will click here and here I can add a condition for synchronization and this will mean that until this condition is true it will wait for the timeout that you have mentioned and the timeout for element 
uh, load timeout or the page load timeout you can mention when you are running your scenario so for now I will just say the synchronization to be element you can say page or element I will select page uh, I will select element here and say username input so this is the username field and here we have also got conditions exist not exist enable disabled and so many conditions are here I will say exist now I have created this synchronization condition that this particular element username input should be available and then only it will move to the next action so I will say ok and that's it you can see the information icon or the warning icon is gone now if I go to the navigator and I go to the context from here as well it has gone and now we have got this context created so I will also mention this here step number six will be create synchronization as per your needs so we have created a context for the login page so we have created context for login page we also need to create a context for the home page or the page that comes up after login if I log in manually to the QBank application using the username John Todd and password pass123 and sign in so this will take me to the home page or this takes me to the account summary page and this is again I need to create a context for because here we have a logout button that I will need to click in our scenario so I will go back to Excel queue and click on this plus button and say context and here I will say this is account summary page description is optional and this is not an entry point because I cannot navigate to this particular page directly with a static URL so this is not an entry point and I will say save and continue and again I have to record a view I will click on record new view and here it is already open so I will click here analyze and now the QBank the Excel queue icon extension icon is blinking here on this QBank page I will click here and say start and it will start the recording and once this is done we will get a message this is done and I will click here it will take me back to Excel queue and we have got this view so I will say accept and here the name it has given is account summary page view which is fine I will click on OK and now you can see the record the view is here I have to add the element locators for logout button in the element repository so I will right click on logout add to repository and I will go with the defaults and I will say save and I will say this is logout button and also I will mark this as sync element so sync element is not set for the context do you wish to mark this as sync element I will say yes and this is the condition I will say exist add and now this is added here also if you see here we are not getting the information for synchronization because we have already added the synchronization here so we have also captured this context and view for this page and this is how you can create context in Excel queue now here I also want to mention that um, we are going in a sequence that we will create a context and then we will create actions and then we will create a scenario however it is very flexible uh, in Excel queue you can start right away by creating a scenario and then you can create the context and actions on the fly and we will look at all these options in the coming session I hope this was very useful for you Thanks a lot for watching.